Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. I'm out here in the middle of the ocean and I'm about to do something I've wanted to do for years. Now, as you know, I love to archery hunt and I've got three bows here. All of them are great for bow fishing. We shot this thing out in North Dakota and smashed them. I mean, it was, it was so much fun. Obviously, it works really well. I've got proof. Got him. Yeah. This is a bow that I shoot alligators with when we're hunting. I mean, this thing is pretty gnarly. Pull it back, let her fly. This reel reels it in super fast and you're good to go. No doubt about it, this is a great bow fishing setup and it too is made in America. Got him. Got him. This is what we've all been waiting for. I took the reel off. There is no line. This is what you call a free shaft. I'm going to throw on my mask and fins. I'm going to swim down over 30 feet. I'm going to draw down and I'm going to see if this thing works underwater. Drop a thumbs up if you think this compound bow will work underwater for spear fishing. I was just practicing shooting to see how it shoots and a daggum goliath grouper was laying on the bottom. I never saw that thing. Mm. The current's kind of ripping and there's no fish to spear here and I don't want to just shoot something for the heck of it. So we're gonna hop in the boat and make a move. If I've got stubble in my upper lip, my mask leaks. It's just something I've dealt with my whole life. So we'll see if we can't fix that. See if a little SPF 50 works. How I look? Do I look like a like a snowman? Oh, sorry about that. Do I look like a snowman. Maybe that's a little better. One good thing is having friends who have an outdoor shower with a razor ready. So, yeah. Rinse off real quick, shave them up a little lip. See that? If, man, if I have hair on my upper lip, my mouth will never seal and it drives me crazy. What you think? Cleaned up? Heck, I went ahead and shaved my whole face, y'all. No room for air. We're heading back out. I have high hopes.
not good. I hit that fish right in the middle. It was a Bermuda chub, but it didn't go in. Not sure why. idea why but this thing has no power underwater I've got to figure this out that's a beautiful moon jellyfish beautiful. Let's go back to the house and figure out what this thing does underwater. We'll jump in the pool and test it. I was fully convinced that we were going to be spearing some kind of fish with our Cajun bow fishing setup out in the ocean, but that didn't work. So you see this? This is the pool that I literally learned how to swim in. This is the house I grew up in. This is my mom and dad's house. And, uh, some of my best memories ever are from in the inside of this pool. Now let's see what this bow is actually capable of underwater. Okay, we got some penetration that time, y'all. Everything is exactly the same. But we're shooting from out of the water now. What happened there? Oh, I got a direct kill shot. I shot clean through it. Come on, big daddy. Pow. Dude, it's insane what I've just learned. Underwater, I don't know if it's just the viscosity of the water. I don't know what it is, but this bow is not a spear gun. It's a Cajun bow fishing bow. Check it out. See them roosters over there? They're so excited about it that they won't shut up. But uh, I love this bow. 
We use it for alligator hunting, bow fishing, all kinds of stuff. And I've always wanted to know, would it work underwater? Yeah, but not well. And that's all I got for you today. If you want to see more experiments and more fun videos like this, drop a thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know what you want to see because I want to try all kinds of cool stuff. I would like to thank Cajun Bow Fishing for providing us the bows, knowing that they were going to get covered in salt water and not get used for their proper use. I will tell you, they're a pretty awesome bow. That's all I got for today. Take care. God bless. And we are gone.